Hello guys and welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog. We have just driven to the Lake District and got the keys for the cute little apartment we're staying in. It's so quiet here, the view from the window is beautiful and all we can hear are sheep, which is kind of cool. Um, we're going to have a cup of tea on the terrace outside, but after we've done that I'll come and show you the apartment we're staying in. Look at this gorgeous view. We can hear a sheep. Okay, so we just had our tea outside and now I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour. We found this place on Airbnb because we were looking at places in the Lake District and we were just about to book it when I was like, oh, let me have a Google. Googled it, found it £100 cheaper on a website called Lake Lovers, which specialises in like, yeah, hotels and apartments in the Lake District so you've got a bit of a bargain but we're on the top floor of a barn got some stairs that go up to our <laughs> apartment I'm just laughing at all the all the sheep they're so noisy and you come in here and this is the kind of like open plan living space so you've got a little table I love the wooden beams, so cool. Oh my god, you scared the daylights out of me! <laughs> and a nice kitchen. We're gonna cook a couple of meals in, and we've also got some restaurants nearby booked. But yeah, this has got pretty much everything we need. Um, in here is the bathroom. It's huge, actually. It goes quite far back, and it's got a little shower. Glad I didn't bring a bath bomb. And then little table with this incredible view. This is like the perfect board game table that we're going to be able to play loads on. Drink some wine, eat some dinner with this view. I also love this little sofa. How cute is that? And then the bedroom is through here. And it's snug and very cosy again with the beams we're gonna have to be so careful not to bang our head this is so so low down yes we did some research um before we came up because obviously covid still happening and a lot of places are only just opening so we've booked some restaurants because we know that most places are going to have like limited capacity and we don't want to risk like not being able to eat anywhere so we've booked a couple of meals out at pubs tomorrow night and Thursday night and then tonight and Wednesday we're eating here but we have got a nice pub lunch booked for Wednesday as well um, and our plans are really just to get out of London, breathe some fresh air, go for some nice walks, um, play some board games, drink some wine, just really really chill and also the, the Wi-Fi here is shocking so that um, bodes in our favour for just having a bit of a chill. Ten. I'm in my PJs, drinking red wine. How spotty am I at the moment? I think it was that ice cream. The, full, ice cream. the full fat milk one. <laughs> um, we are, we're playing board games. We just played around a skip bow and now we're playing Catan, which G bought on Amazon last week and we played it once with his parents and it's so much fun. The rules are slightly different for two players, but I think we've understood them. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. We've just made some um, pizza in the oven. Oh, this is so nice. So lovely. It is Tuesday and we've come out into Hawkshead, the little town near us. It's like an eight minute walk from where we're staying and it is the cutest little village. I love it, it's so cute. Let me show you some of it. A lot of nice white buildings and this is my fave. It's very, very, very pretty. Look at this. Gorgeous. And there's a famous, famous relish shop. I'm going to have to come back to when it's open. <laughs> we've come to... We've, we've come to the only place in the world where you can buy a Grassmere gingerbread. It's in a town called Grassmere. It's very cute, it's very, very long queue. Okay, we've come to a lake called Tarn Owls, I think it's called. Tarn Owls. Tarn Owls. 
This is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. <laughs> I should have got my nails done. Hi, Snipsis. We're sitting on a. We're sitting. No, it's cold though. We're um, sitting on a bench. Yeah, look at our view. Um, we've got some news. You've got some news? Yeah. What, what news? Are you having a... It's ring! <laughs> 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 well, only a couple of hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Are you kidding me? We're engaged. Are you kidding me? <laughs> The plan wasn't to do it today or while we were in the lakes. Um, the plan was to do it in France right. when we go. So I, I got a ring for that. Um, and then obviously we were up in seeing my folks over the weekend. Yesterday I told my mum and my mum got really, really excited right. and was like, oh, you can, you can have like one of, one of my rings. And she gave me her grandma's ring. Um, so, my, so my great grandma's. And then, and then that just got me thinking, well, I've, I've got it now. I've got the ring that I want to give her and we're going to be in the lakes and it's obviously a much more romantic place. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. It is Wednesday. We had a very, very, very um, lazy morning. Got out of bed at about... <coughs> about 10 and um, we have come for a little walk into town and we've just got a coffee and some cake and we're gonna we're, we've got lunch booked for three o'clock so we're just gonna sit in this little cute pub cafe and read our books until then need to talk about this <laughs> It's a bear. So today we're doing a little bit of par pub. No. <laughs> we're on our second pub. This happened. We need to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was very special. And we haven't told anyone but our parents. So we're gonna tell our friends. So keep it quiet. Yeah, don't keep tell anyone. Oh, this is, oh, I'm not even wearing it on the right thing. Oh, shit. Sure. Should you do that again? Let's do that again. <laughs> Back. Yesterday, shortly after I stopped vlogging, this happened next to a waterfall. It was really nice. And when I catch the guy who did it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And no one knows apart from my parents so far. We're keeping it quiet, which is nice. It feels like a little secret for a while, doesn't it? For a week. Mm. I don't really tell him. Oh, and, and you guys. It, doesn't, it still doesn't feel real. It's so weird, it doesn't feel any different. Not like it should feel different, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel real. Is it weird that this is playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> A woman <wimble> boy. <it. laughs> yeah, that's our exciting news. Maybe one day, one day we'll tell you the story of how it happened and about this ring because there's a bit of a story. There is a bit of a story to it. Mm. But this is this is not the ring he he had planned to propose with. That ring's at home. It's a long story. Mm. One day we'll tell you about it. I st yeah. stole, you stole, it, <laughs> stole it off a of granny. And no, you didn't. It. <laughs> yeah, we're in a little bubble right now. I spent a lot of yesterday just welling up. Just crying. Just crying. But yeah, it was nice. Very excited. I can't believe I'm in there. It's much weirder than I am. Why? Just, you know, just, just, Does it's, it feel weird for you? Yeah. But in a, an amazing, great way. You haven't probably feel like that yet. I, I will do. I'll make a point of it in the pub. Okay, thanks. <laughs>
My fiance would like the steak burger, please. <laughs> She's got plumbers. <laughs> you right in a hiking? <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Yeah, Thanks so much. She's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> you got it the wrong way round. Cheese. No. <laughs> the little ice cream shop is famous in the town we're staying in. They've got all these flavours. <laughs> what are you going for? Okay. I kind of fancy. Can you stop? <laughs> Cookie Monster, Maltese, Biscoff, Nutella, I want it all. This little village is very good for um, social distancing. Is it? Mm. That looks amazing. There's too many flavours. I'm going for Nutella and Biscoff. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Nutella one's amazing. Is it good? So good. Oh my god, I'm right up here. Mm. Mm. They're so little. They're the same size as the ice cream. My skin is so bad. I can see what you're doing at the corner of my eye. <laughs> yeah, my skin. What gone? I don't know. You know, got engaged yesterday, and like I just feel like this is the best meal to celebrate. This is the best meal to celebrate. You know I and um, we're having a we're not very hungry we had a very did i i didn't vlog that lunch did i we went to a pub for lunch i had some supper fried chicken did you vlog the ice cream i can't even remember i don't think i did oh i can't remember what i vlogged i've been very bad but we're very full from our lunch still so it's quarter past nine and we're having some like picnicky bits and <laughs> got slap with cheese and some rivita and hummus and loads of snacks I'm I'm not I'm I'm a cheap date, aren't I? Very cheap date. It doesn't take much to impress me. It's good. We're watching Mar Celebrity Master Chef with Lady Leisha as well. We love her. It is Thursday and we've woken up and the sun is shining. So we're having a cup of tea in the garden in the sun, listening to the sheep and the birds. <laughs> so nice. This is a little cottage we've been staying in upstairs, but the people downstairs keep setting the fire alarm off. Like twice a day, every day. Yeah. So annoying. So we have come to the third largest lake in the Lake District. It's called Coniston. So beautiful. Found a little jetty that we're standing on. So nice. Oh my god, I love it here. It's so relaxing. Also, there's no one else really at this. Oh my god, there's a swan! No one else really at this lake. A couple of canoers over there. But yeah, it's so nice. He's coming over to us. He thinks we've got food, I reckon. Oh, he's getting very close. Getting a little dry <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god. This guy's a right poser. This is magical. We play in? Poo sticks. How do you play it? Poo sticks, you pick a stick, throw it in a little stream, and whichever one comes out the other end of the bridge first wins. I never got to play this when I was little because I never had like a nice river. But I dropped it a little bit la late last time. Ready? Three, two, one, go! You still dropped it in first. Yes! A clear winner. Where's mine gone? <laughs> we have come, oh it's probably going to be too windy to hear me, but we've climbed to the top of a hill and we are in the clouds, um, but the view is incredible. Look at that. This is insane. Look at this. Insane forest. This is so haunted. The trees are all mossy. So, we knew we were going to come for a walk today, but we um, didn't have, like, we didn't know what we were going to do for lunch. And we, we had a pizza in the fridge, so I had the genius idea of cooking the pizza this morning whilst we were getting ready to go out and then bringing it with us on the walk. So, we're eating pizza in the middle of nowhere 
<laughs> we're so lost in this forest but um it this is the best pizza we've ever had in my life it tastes so damn good we've been walking for about two hours i reckon now oh my god mm. i just woke up from a nap he's on the move i just woke up from a nap to find that oh. i i had someone else in the bed with me <laughs> look at him oh oh no he's fast oh no he's very fast oh we have come for a romantic dinner for our final evening in the Lake District. It's called the Lamplighter and it's in Windermere. I'm so snotty because of my hay fever. I just, I sound so bummed up. But um, yeah, look at this. They've got the um, cutlery, cutlery in a bag so it doesn't get germs on. Fish pie, chips, beef suet. Look at that beef suet. Never seen anything like it. We've just checked out of our apartment, it's Friday and on the way here we drove past this really cute hotel so we decided to book in for breakfast before we like leave the lakes and oh my god this is so gorgeous. It's called the Swan, just the Swan Hotel and Spa and it's right on this little river. You can have breakfast out here but it's obviously raining now so we can't but yeah, with the little bridge, it's so cute. Oh. Scrambled egg and smoked salmon for breakfast. We have just got home. Five and a half hours I think it took us to drive. Only stopped once for a quick wee. Had to pick up some bits for dinner tonight. Um, but I've come back to so much post. Post, 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 post. Do you want, should I open some post? Laura Mercier. I never know how to say that. Laura Mercier sent this gorgeous little kind of like vanity case and a letter oh prime apply foundation conceal and set well, i'm excited about this i don't think i've ever tried i've tried the secret brightening powder by laura messier which i love so i'm looking forward to trying this the tinted moisturizer primer concealer that's really cool from bare minerals we have clean glow collection mineral rich powder bronzers and highlighters i actually have these and they're amazing their bronzers and highlighters are beautiful this one the little bums in the back no 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 um this highlighter in the shade free <laughs> is my fave it's so gorgeous i'll show you because it's so pretty so pretty. Also, the reason I'm wearing this on this finger is because it's a tiny bit too big, which is understandable because it wasn't made for me. Murad have sent, oh, I love this. This is their City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is one of my favorite SPFs for the face. It doesn't give me spots and it doesn't look like white and um, doesn't take ages to like settle in, into your skin, so chuffed with that hourglass have sent their new unlocked instant extensions mascara 100 percent of people said it instantly lengthens lashes makes eyes look more wide open smudge proof looking forward to giving that a go ghd had a virtual event on tuesday which i very sadly missed because i had no internet where we were staying but they've teamed up with an amazing um charity breast cancer now it says to celebrate 16 years of supporting breast cancer charities globally ghg have partnered with 11 incredible women who were diagnosed with breast cancer before the age of 35 to share this message ghg will be launching the limited edition take control now collection to remind women around the world to donate some mirror time to their boobs and self-check every single month and they've got some incredible stats here which is so sad 120,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer each year under the age of 35 only one in two women regularly check their boobs for signs of breast cancer and 90 percent of 18 to 35 year old women check only a few times a year or less whereas 83 percent of women in the uk use a hairstyler so like we need to be putting that time of us doing our hair and get into the um routine of regularly checking our boobs and 
as someone who's had a bre I wouldn't say a breast cancer scare, but as someone who has found a lump in their boob last year and having gone through loads of tests for it, um, I, I highly urge you to get familiar with your boobs so you do know if there is any, anything like irregular going on. Um, I think it's amazing that they've partnered with this charity. So they have really nicely sent the Platinum Plus Professional Smart Styler in this gorgeous kind of like baby pink shade. They have sent, oh, a candle. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Tom Dixon candle. I think they've sent some cookies, which even if they're gone off, I'm probably still gonna eat them. <laughs> Look at these. Oh, girls, whilst you're watching this, check your boobies. It really doesn't take long. There are also videos online of how to check your boobs properly if you if you haven't done it before, but I would love for you to all do that whilst you're watching this now. Get your tip out. Oh, they've also sent a little pop socket with boobies on. Take control now. Definitely gonna use that as my pop socket is falling off. One more thing, and um, just before we went away on holiday, I treated myself to my first ever pair of Doc Martens. I've been looking for a really nice pair of brogues to wear with my kind of smartish suit outfits, and I found a pair in their sale, um, Doc Martens sale, and they're vegan black. I've never worn Doc Martens before, never had a pair. I know that they sometimes take a while to kind of like break in, so if you, if you guys have any tips on how to break them in quicker, let me know. I've heard stories of girls like wrapping their feet in sanitary pads to stop them chafing. Oh, they're cool. They look like this. How cool are they? Do you like these? Very cool, mate. We posted the good news on Instagram. Our phones have been popping. So lovely. Everyone's comments are just so, so nice. We've made a little kind of picnic for dinner with some of the bits that we picked up in Hawkshead. We got some like um, jams. This is a Cumbrian damson ginger and gunpowder tea conserve and a fig and cinnamon chutney. And we've got some pate breadsticks, hummus, cheese, ham, coleslaw. What are they called? Garfel bait biter. Garfield bitters. Garfield bitters. G's parents bought us these little like herring in a sherry sauce and they're so good on crackers. So yeah, really excited about this. Oh, also black garlic ketchup. Mm. Saturday morning, we're on our way to Brunswick East, our favourite Brunswick. <laughs> Thanks for that. Sorry. <laughs> Um, it's Saturday morning. We're on our way to Brunswick East. <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking forward to this for so long. We booked it in as soon as they kind of said that restaurants could open again. We've booked a table, paid a deposit to go to our favourite brunch spot, Brunswick East. We're driving because the trains aren't working and I'm secretly quite glad about that because, I, yeah, it's been like five months since we've been on a train. No, four months. We are also then going to pop to Westfield Stratford um, to sort out rings, which is exciting as well. And then tonight we're going for dinner with my parents as a little celebration, which I'm really looking forward to. It's actually, I think my mom, one of my mum's birthday presents was my dad booking this restaurant, really fancy restaurant. Um, and we're kind of gate crushing the uh, occasion. We're sat outside in the sun for this amazing brunch. I can't remember what's in this. I think it's like green beans, courgette, poached egg, ricotta cheese, mint, peas, sourdough. Oh my God, ba and I got a side of bacon. Oh my God, your halloumi looks so good. That brunch was so good. We are now on our way to Westfield. I really liked what Brunswick did. It's been actually really interesting going to some like pubs and cafes and restaurants and seeing what they've been doing in terms of COVID because we went to a pub on Wednesday where they put a thermometer on your head for everyone that came in. Um, everywhere seems to have like a one like a one way system that you walk in one way and exit another. And the restaurant the other night had the cutlery all wrapped up individually. And today, what I really liked was they made you sanitize your hands on the way in. Um, and they also give you a wet wipe so you can sanitize your phone. I thought that was such a good idea because like our phones must harbor so much bacteria and like grim stuff. So yeah, the fact that they made you do that, just like little details and all the cutlery was individually bagged as well so not out in the open yeah it's good
We are home now. We had a cup of tea, called um, G's parents and played some The Last of Us 2 on PlayStation. And now we're getting ready to go out for dinner with my peas. Um, I quickly wanted to show you my outfit because I really, really love it today. I was wearing this with the trainers. I'm wearing, finally getting around to wearing these amazing mustard coloured trousers from Zara. These were in the sale for £12.99 and I love them. I'm not wearing them properly. You can kind of get the drift and um, just with a black t-shirt and yeah really love this outfit okay i'm gonna wear this jumpsuit which i got uh I think a year ago but i haven't worn it because it's been in my tailoring pile of stuff that i need to go and get altered for my petiteness but i've just tried it on again and it actually doesn't need to be altered so i don't know why i ended up putting it in that pile but it's this really nice all-in-one jumpsuit kind of like a halter neck and the top is got loads of sort of sparkles on which is um kind of annoying because all the glitter keeps coming off on my hands and it does mean i'm gonna have to kind of keep doing it up whenever i go to the loo but it's worth it because it's very smart and yeah sophisticated for where we're going we've met up with my family and we're walking to the restaurant from ours and we're literally outside g's old flat look tower bridge is there and his flat was this one some of you might remember that those windows i had a photo shoot in that window once um and the restaurant is just down here but it's called Pont de la tour and got this amazing view literally the best location imagine living that close to tower tower london and the restaurant's just here i've never been here before but my parents love it so yeah i'm really excited oh i love seeing g with my fam it makes me very happy they're doing thermometers here <laughs> dinner looks gorgeous 